Welcome back to Pursuit Accuracy. I'm Josh. That's Chris from Midwest Long Range. Today we have a Taurus TX22 and as you can see this is a little bit pimped out or as we call it tandemized. So I got with the guys over at Tandem Cross because Chris owned a TX22 and I'm in Missouri and I can't buy my own TX22. So when you can't pimp out your own Taurus 22 long rifle, you pimp out your buddies. What we have here is a Tandem Cross everything kit. So, and give me one sec. And because you get so much stuff with this, I'm gonna refer to my phone. So excuse me for reading off the prompter. So you get a victory trigger. That's the flat trigger you see there. The pro compensator, you get a fiber optic front sight. We haven't put that on yet because we're lazy. Um, you get the halo charging ring. We'll talk about that more in depth in a minute. You get two magazine extensions for the two mags you're gonna get with a pistol when you get it from Taurus. You get a Eagle Town Extractor. We're kind of hoping we're going to wear this extractor out first, the factory extractor, and then we're going to swap over to the Eagle, or, well, Chris will because it's his pistol. You get the Titan Extended Magazine Release that you probably can't see because of the sunlight. And you get a stainless steel captured guide rod and spring. So the factory one you can get is pretty chintzy, pretty cheesy, but basically... It plastic. Yeah, it is plastic, I think. So you get a lot of quality parts. And right now, if you're gonna buy this kit in August, it's actually on sale. So by the time you see this, you're probably gonna have like a week left. So you might wanna jump on that. And then not in the kit, but something you can see we have on it here, that is the accelerator Ford thumb ledge, or what we like to call in the pistol world, a gas pedal or you know one of the 20,000 names for it. I unknowingly challenge Chris to a competition. And the look on his face, if he wasn't wearing aviators, you would see he's lost and bewildered because we talked about making this video, but nowhere in there did I said I was gonna beat the crap out of him in this competition we're gonna shoot. So I let's thought, shoot these I groups. we both said we were done with challenges. I meant other people. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shoot a quick group, probably five rounds, and then we're gonna blast some steel. So I'm gonna aim at the very bottom of the triangle, and when I miss, Chris is gonna laugh. That's probably how this goes. All right. Uh -huh. I think you went high. Yeah. All right. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it hits high at seven yards. Um, these are adjustable. You can see there. I don't know how you can see because of the sun, but these do have adjustable sights. We're not gonna adjust them. That's too fancy for us. All right, uh, so we kind of know where it hits. We're gonna shoot a little rack. That's usually something you would shoot at 50 with a rifle. I know it hits a little high and a little left, so. Like you said. Yeah, pretty easy. Not bad. Uh, have a poke at her, Christopher. <laughs> Bet your mom calls you that, huh? Christopher! No. Get in here, Christopher! That's what my grandpa calls me. <laughs> oh, there you got it. It's a little high, remember. A little high. Uh, here you go. Oh, man. Quick change magazine. Quick change tactical reload. And uh, what we're gonna do is the downrange camera is running. Let me get back. This is about seven-ish yards, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pick a rock or something. Actually, there's, I think that, is that a leaf? That brown leaf? Yeah, that's a leaf. All right, I'm gonna aim at that and we're gonna see where the sights are and then I'm gonna try and run the KYL. So let's see. I don't know. The leaf's gone. Yeah, the, the leaf is dead, but maybe, <laughs> I don't know. All right, uh, so let's do it like a comp hit or miss move on. Mm -hmm. We'll see how many we hit. I feel like I'm gonna miss a lot. Okay. All right, sorry, I had a slight interruption there. I think I'm on the sixth. Oh, I can't tell which side of it I'm missing on. I think I'm missing on the right. All right, so I think I hit five yeah so there's one in here i think you have yeah you have enough 
So we're now able to get, what, 20 rounds with these extended mags and they're plus five. So 20, 21 rounds of 22 fun. You say I get a cider? Yeah, you get a cider. There's one, two, I don't like how much time you're taking. Three, four, five, lift, this. <laughs> how many bolts we got left? I think I got one. one. Try for that quarter. Oh, uh, yeah. You got to be a pro to hit the quarter. You know what I'm saying? He hit five. <laughs> uh, let's run some doubles on All this. Right. You want to do that? Yeah. All right. We're going to move the cameras. All right. So now we're about 10 yards back. There's some plates. Going to run some doubles. Uh, GoPro is danger close. Uh, I'm just going to run a couple. Chris going to run a couple, and then we'll put the comp on. You ready? Yep. I don't think it's recoiling much. I Try and pay attention. See if you can tell maybe it's all right hopefully you get a better shot now we're at the side we have the compensator the pro comp on here so let's see what we can do we're gonna run two doubles again ah a little Ooh, bit that's a little fast. bit pretty um fast. a little bit less there is a difference not a ton, but yeah, let me get on this side. Yeah. Uh, there's a little different. I could see a kid, someone who has, uh, doesn't mm -hmm. have a lot of grip strength, getting some benefit out of that. See what you think. It, I think it does stay down a little bit. I, it's very light. Yeah. But I, if you don't have, and I'm only taking this because it's my video and I'm gonna burn up more of his ammo. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not gonna burn up more of your ammo. Um, you got one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna see. I'm gonna loose grip it and just see if it even does anything. I mean, not really. I mean, that was. I think it does recoil less. Yeah. All right. So overall, uh, ran pretty good. I will say during our testing, we shot a lot of different kind of ammunition through this. Yep. Um, I said this is Chris's gun. Um, this is the standard TX22. With the comp, we did experience more light primer strikes than without the comp. I think that's because this is a standard model. It has a thinner barrel. And I think the weight of the comp does something. And it may just be just this one, because I know a lot of guys use this. I do like using it. We really have match 22 ammo. It's not like we have yeah. regular ammo. But, um, you know, I probably would say, you know, one out of 40 or something on this, take this off and you really don't have any problems. Um, but the compensator does help the recoil. It's probably specific to this one, but we did find that during our testing, so I did want to make a note about that. But overall, as a package, I think right now, like I said, it's on sale, and you get a, a bunch of good stuff for this to take this pistol to the next level. Uh, it's a good gun right out the bat, but like I said, the halo, the comp, the trigger, all this stuff is going to make it more fun and more interesting to shoot. And, I, and I, I bought that you know, the, the base my baseline pistol yeah. to help my wife and my son with training. Yep. And uh, now it's just going to be that much more enjoyable. Yeah, especially, especially for both your of son. Them. Yeah, yeah, for that. this, yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh, new shooters are kind of scared to, to rack a slide. I don't know why. It's like yep. they're kind of scared, but this is like something a lot easier. But overall, a uh, really good package. We appreciate you guys checking out this video. Make sure you check out Chris over at Midwest Long Range or just watch my videos, that's fine too. <laughs> Emphasis on my videos. If you run out of my videos to watch, then maybe watch Chris's videos. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.